Cock is Ireland's oldest and most traditional fair, so old and traditional that no one is too sure when it first started, though they'll tell you quite a few tales in Kilorglan. That it first started about 200 BC among the legendary Fianna, or that the goat became famous when a forebear warned the town of Kilorglan, that the dreaded Oliver Cromwell was on his way to attack. There are thousands of people here from all levels of life and from many parts, including Americans, Britons, Germans and from all over Ireland. Itinerants gather here traditionally and the travelling salesmen ply their wares. This is a special advertising up. Somebody said to me earlier on, how did I come to the conclusion that they were the prices? Well, if you look in the magazine here, you will see the recommended retail prices yourself. The pubs are open from 6am to 3am and as they say in Kerry, sure most people at Puck don't bother to sleep at all for the three days of the fair. The fair itself is the main business, or it's supposed to be. Horses were first sold, but prices were quite high, and in fact some British buyers were disappointed. They said the prices were far too high to buy. Cattle and sheep followed. Among the buyers and sellers are mountainy men not seen in town hardly from one year to another, and many sharp-eyed dealers looking for a quick bargain. Of course, though, the goat is the centre of the event. He's king for the fair, and they say here in Kilorglan he's a symbol of virility. Whatever about that, for three days, he'll be displayed above the town of Kilorglan. Just before the crowning, the man whose family traditionally scar the hills of Kerry every year, looking for a suitably virile specimen, told me that this year King Puck took a lot of catching. This was the most difficult year, almost to date. Uh, Easter Monday, a party of 34 left Kilorglan town, including some of the mountaineerings, and even though they got very close to the goat, they really failed to bring her back to Killarland town. Well, I, whose family have been doing the thing for num almost a century, we went out later on in the week and we brought back the goats, back to Killarland. What happens to the goat after the fair? Oh, the goat is left back to his, back to the home, back to his uh, uh, mountains again. At the traditional home of uh, King Puck, of course, is a cat and tool mountains. I'd like to stress that there's no cruelty whatsoever involved in this goat. He's well looked after and well fed. His feet are not even tethered, only while he's being hoisted. And is he quite safe up here on the oh, platform? quite safe. I'd say to look down at the crowd and see the thousands, he'd be the happiest animal, a person around the uh, for the three days. <laughs>